Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today I want to share with you three tips that I have learned recently. And this video is a supplement to our full tutorial on Nearmap. Without further ado, let's jump into Nearmap so I can share these three tips with you. So the first tip is going to your account. So if you click on your account right here, basically open up another tab in the help center, you'll be able to see the troubleshooting videos and a technical block. Um, so let's just click on um, these and see what they're telling us. So the first one is the video. So this is a great thing because right here you can see what are the integrations the near map has. And then for every single item that you see here, there is a video available. So if I click on the video for 3D, it's going to bring up um, another video. You can listen to it and see how exactly you can leverage this tool. So I think this is a great location to see tutorials and walkthroughs on Nearmap. The next one, I want to talk about a technical blog. So technical blog is basically just a, a, a header and a title that it's going to be shared by Nearmap and it's going to be their newsletter. Um, you can get over here, see the latest and greatest item that has been shared and you guys can basically go through all of these and be um, aware of the latest updates coming from Nearmap. The next one is troubleshooting. So this is a really good one and it helped me a lot when I had a problem uh, with Nearmap. So it's basically all the, the general and then the common issues that are coming up. Uh, they basically put everything over here. You'll be able to come and then take a look at all of these items right here. So if your near map is down, you can kind of follow these steps, see what the problem is. If you're looking for your UTM zone and also the map browser with all of these issues, you, this is a great place to come and take a look. And the last one that I want to point out on this page is the check status. So the, when you check the status here, basically telling you the maintenance time, you know, the upper, this if the system is operational, if not, so you're getting all the notes in regards to your system under the check status. I think this is a location that you can use on daily basis. If there is something wrong with your near map, this is a location to go. And then also, if you couldn't find anything here, you can kind of reach out to near map a support group and they'll really responsive and provide you with an update. So the next tip would be marker. So any location that you put this marker, it provides you with a really, really good info. First one is the address. The, the one right here, that's the one that I want to point out. So basically it's going to add you to the watch list. So that means each time when you get a new survey data uploaded for this location, you'll be notified. So if you basically select a location that you want and add it to your watch list, each time you're getting a notification when new data gets uploaded at that area. Uh, we have the coordinates. Also, you can get the link, copy and paste it. Uh, you can see the street uh, view. It's pretty easy. You just kind of click on it. It takes you to the Google um, to see the street view. And if you have any notes that you want to assign to this location, you can basically type it under the notes at this area you can change the color for all the marker location that you want and also you can group some of them rename them and if you want to make them hide and unhide on your near map the next tip would be a line or a measuring tool so this is if you want to measure from one location to another location you can click that everybody knows however when you finish you can get the dimension and you have the color but when you click under the display there is elevation profile and this is only available for the line measurement if you check this box it basically gives you the, the profile of this line that you're doing 
and then if I move this from one location to another location the indicator shows up on the line and basically telling me the elevation on this area so we know this line that I have is like 614 so this is all the way and if I move my cursor and the bottom on the profile you can see a small indicator on the line moving along and basically giving me the elevation of that area i think this is a great tool to kind of looking at the areas getting the elevation and see how it look like you know like if you have a lot of uh, area that going down and going up this is a great tool that can help you out also another thing that you can do is you can create a duplicate of this so if i click on this one and have duplicate so this is two line right so i can move this line to the top and right now it's going to kind of tell me what is going on and then if you guys kind of look there's going to be a new profile right so the indicator shows going all the way up and the elevation changes get to that point going all the way down and then going back here so this is a really great tool for you guys to kind of go from one point to another point duplicate that elevation duplicate that line see the profile elevation also because we create two so you have three points you have one two three and all of these are basically movable so you can kind of move all of these location to like a different one and you can get a different profile for that so this is this is kind of a really really good tool it's in your um, service to identify two points a to b what is the elevation what is the distance give you a very good understanding of what's going on in that area thank you guys for watching today's video on three tips in near map if you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you like these quick tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.